Welcome to the introduction to physical security. My name is Liz von der Heiden. Physical security controls is one of the domains of the CISSP common body of knowledge, and they consist of three main controls. Physical access, technical, and administrative controls. Physical access controls are systems that are used to restrict access to a particular area. They provide protection, including fencing, man traps, security guards, guard dogs, locks, and biometric access controls. These are the things that are visible and transparent. Fencing provides physical access control and could be in the form of fences, gates, turnstiles, and man traps. For those of you who are studying for the CISSP, you have to know the following information. Fences that are three feet to four feet tall are used to deter casual intruders. Fences that are six feet to seven feet tall are too high to climb. And fences that are eight feet tall are used to deter more determined intruders. Man traps are another example of a physical access control. They consist of a, two, of a set of two doors. As you can see from this graph, one person must enter the man trap and shut the door behind him before he could open the door in front of him to enter the room. Man trap controls the flow of individuals in and out of areas to prevent piggybacking. And piggybacking happens when an unauthorized person enters the building and then a person that is not authorized follows that person and gains access to the system. Man traps have sensors that could tell if there's more than one person passing through the man trap at the same time. Security guards. So you would think with all this modern surveillance equipment that we would not need the services of security guards, right? No, on the contrary, more than ever, we need security guards to implement the technology and provide a sound judgment. And having the ability to apply judgment is one of the biggest advantage in hiring security guards. In addition, security guards provides a visible deterrent. And not only could security guards secure your facilities, they could also perform different functions, such as escorting the visitors to the designated areas. Guard dog. Like their human counterparts, guard dogs provide a highly visible deterrent and they have more acute and smell and hearing senses. However, unlike, unlike their human uh, counterpart, they have a limited judgment ability. So let's not forget about locks. Locks are one example of a physical access control. They are simple to use and very inexpensive. They provide access point to secure areas. And for CISSP candidates, you have to know that the different types of locks, preset, programmable, and electronic types. The last one is the biometric access controls. Biometric access controls are called a type two factor, something you are. They are very accurate because it is based on a person's unique characteristics and physical attributes such as fingerprint, retina, and voice. So they are very accurate in, for use for identification. For more information on biometric access control, please see our video, Introduction to Access Control. 
for CISSP candidates, you have to know the difference between an FRR and an FAR. FRR is called the false reject rate. This is when authorized persons deny, are denied access to the system. And an FAR is called the false accept rate. It means that people that are not authorized are granted access to the system. So this is more critical because you don't want an authorized person gaining access to your system, right? So when FRR is equal to FAR, this is what it's called crossover error rate. The second control is the technical controls. They consist of a surveillance, alarms, and intrusion detection systems. These are technical in nature. For example, one of the examples of a technical control is the closed circuit TVs. CCTVs provide deterrent and detective controls. And they also com complement the security guards. You can use it in conjun conjunction of your security guards. And you could record events for later analysis. The last main control is the administrative controls. These are the policies and procedures that the company develop properly to ensure that the physical access control and the technical controls are implemented. So the companies must secure the restricted areas and also companies must have a way of recording the ingress and out uh, the, the in the out uh, the incoming and outgoing people who are gaining access to the system and companies m must make sure that the emergency emergency controls are in place and that they routinely conduct training and fire drills and administrative controls is also about pre and post employment procedures for personnel that are working in the company they should have a background investigation prior to their employment in conclusion we have discussed the three domains of physical security these are the physical access control, technical controls, and administrative controls. And we have also discussed the services that are associated with this control. Thank you very much for listening. For more CISSP videos, please visit us at libogroup.com.